Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. Yes, I was MIA for a little minute. Life was life in y'all. I was terribly busy. Now I'm back. So we have some catching up to do. So this is a general reading. We're going to look at the good, the bad, the ugly in whatever, um, in whatever you may be. I'm hearing collaborated in with with right now. So this could be love, money, career, health. You take it how it resonates. We're in Taurus season. The pink moon is tomorrow. I believe in Scorpio. So how are you going to use the moon's energy? To, um, why am I keep hearing collaborating? Not competing, but collaborating. I don't know. So maybe someone at your job realized that you're not in competition. It's all about collaborating. Something may have decided. Some, it's like the tension has died down. I don't know if it's work related, but it feels that way. Like somebody's now coming to the, to the point that you're not competing with them or for them. It's about collaboration. Get on board. All right. So let's see what this pink moon has to offer you. Somebody's learning to be truthful, respectful, and fair. Learning how to manage or regulate something. Courage. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so we have courage being, um, I guess, the most potent energy right now. And we have cast away the negativity. So we could have someone that's very territorial or they just have like this knack of taking the room over. They like to run the room. They're capable of running the room. Some of you may have like this quiet intensity about yourself that. I don't know why I'm hearing make believe. I don't know. Something about your look seems too perfect or you seem too perfect. And a lot of people are suspicious about that. We have a lot of snakes in the grass. Somebody's about to find out that the person that they were keeping close is actually a snake. It's like the lion and the snake is like the lion is looking down at the snake and like, oh, you're just a tiny snake. You can't harm me. And then the snake goes to 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 bite the, the lion and the lion pulls back like, oh, shit, you're really about to fuck to fuck me up. huh So it's like somebody's realizing that the snake is not all innocent or the seduction is not innocent. Passed away the negativity. Somebody may be going to a root worker, a practitioner for protection. Somebody's in some sort of dirty, dirty dealings where they're collaborating with a lot of snake like people and they're trying to protect themselves or they're trying to get cheat codes and how to catch the snakes. And it's some sort of false pride. Somebody's false pride is connecting them to snakes. So it's almost like. I'm trying to get this purse. I'm trying to make this money. And if I need to fuck with shady people to do it, I will. But I'm going to try to protect myself. Bruv, your ancestors is about to abandon your asses. Because you're literally putting yourself in a snake pool. Or the lion's den. Thinking that you could, you're untouchable here. But once you have been worn and you deliberately keep going into something that... Has the potential to ruin you. I think somebody's ancestors is about to get quiet. The light is about to get quiet. Let's see what the hell this is about. Pictures. We have new memories. Making new memories. Some of you. Something. Some sort of piece of the puzzle. About something you were wondering about an ancestor or a grandparent. You're going to see it in a picture. An old picture. Maybe. Um, I'm the, I don't know why I'm getting Scorpio. Like the fixed signs. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Energies. Right? It's almost like 
somebody's going to be looking through an old photo album or a box full of photos and they're going to recognize someone or they're going to recognize something that was not evident before. So something that was hidden is now going to become evident. You also have someone that was shady or did some shady things you may or may not know about. They're reminiscing. Some of you, this person could be licking their phone about you. Something about your eyes are talking to me. Hmm. We have false pride and we have a lot of greed because I'm seeing the snake biting the tail. All right, so pictures. Somebody could be working some shit on you through pictures. Yeah, it happens like that. Poke a face. All right, so we have someone that doesn't have the courage to open up to you. This could be a karmic relationship. This is the second time this card comes out today recording. And the main message that came out with this card was do not confuse intensity with intimacy some of you somebody is doing a lot of shady shit with a lot of shady people like this could be i'm hearing like um fixed bets what the fuck somebody may be involved in shady business where they're it's like fake bets or fix somebody's fixed something hey to win and they may get outed and they may get attacked or this group of people may turn against this person. Somebody's into a lot of risk. Whatever they're doing, they feel like it's part of their ego. It's all false pride. Somebody doesn't want you to know something here. They don't have the courage to tell you. Maybe it's this passion that they feel. We have healing heart. Toxicity and addiction, abusive relationships. So somebody is attracted to abusive, toxic relationships. Maybe for a long time they were in denial about that. Maybe they thought it was fun and passion. Do not confuse intensity with intimacy. Somebody has been sleeping with a snake. And this snake was sizing this person up. Okay, so somebody wants you to know, this may be something they don't have the courage to tell you, that they were poisoned a long time ago. I'm hearing you can't fix me. Who, who is that? That new singer, um, that big guy, heavyweight guy, heavy set guy. When he was saying, you can't save me, I'm already ruined, you can't save me. If you know that song, jump down in the comment box below. I'm already ruined or something going on. Somebody's in an abusive relationship and they don't have the courage to tell you. I don't know if this is somebody that's close to you, a sibling or something. But in this pink moon, they're going to start to see the cracks in the wall. It's like a, a wobbly foundation. And for a long time, they were trying to play blind to it, just focusing on the fun times, the insane chemistry. Chemistry does not equal to love. Territorial, even if it was toxic, it's still minds. Somebody is attracted to territorial, possessive people. It makes them feel needed. This king of swords, I stay in my mind all the time. Somebody's talking to you through your pictures somebody's looking at your pictures and talking to you your eyes is like they're thinking what they want to think you know it doesn't hurt to imagine is what i'm hearing somebody's cracking out y'all somebody's falling apart and they're out here trying to pass off like they're having fun There's no equality with this person, even though you want that. And I feel like that's where the abusive toxicity comes from. You want this person to be fair or treat you equally. And it's not they. Strong Aquarius man, hey. Or Gemini man. Oh, so we, have, we could have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male, man. 
that's an abusive relationship or marriage as well. It's breaking their heart, but they're pushing really hard to put on face. It has its good days, but it, it, it doesn't outweigh the really bad days. This house is no longer a home. Somebody may have a home with someone that they feel is doing something dark. It's not all what it seems to be. Oh my gosh. But they put on this brave face. They could be taking care of the tab. Or when family come around, this person takes up the tab. They spend more than they need to. And they get really like explosive. So it's like having the in-laws over. Or having friends come over and you're, you're being very extravagant. And when it's all done, this little vacation or holiday, th uh, holiday thing or time, it's like you see the, the real dark beast come out. You guys check on your friend that's always trying to come off like they're living their best life. They may be getting abused. We have the star, no healing with the five of wands. Ooh, an Aquarius energy, hey. All right, so somebody's trying to be detached from this abusive situation, but they are hurting. I'm hearing you can't see the bruise. So this could be emotional abusive as well. You can't see the bruise. Hmm. I'm hearing someone please call 911. Someone please call 911. Hold on. I'm going to look in my notes for something. <laughs> I don't even know if I should. Yeah, somebody's trapped in conflict, y'all. With karmic -y people. Or this is a karmic relationship from the jump. I'm hearing I had children for the wrong person. Wow, false flames. So this may be a false twin flame. Or somebody convinced themselves that this is the person they're going to spend the rest of their life with. No matter the ups and downs. But somebody's burning out. I'm feeling battling um, exhaustion. It's like I can't seem to regain my strength. We have Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Pisces, and a Sagittarius. It always feels like we're competing around friends or we're keeping up with the Joneses. Or there's a group of people because Aquarius is a sign of publicity, friends, and networking. So we have like a pack. Or pride. Of people. And there's like competition going on here. And somebody doesn't know. That somebody's actually suffering. Behind closed doors. In a relationship. So it's like a. a it's like a group dinner. And it's like everybody know each other from school. And yeah we all married. Or we all dating. And there's really gloomy evil shit going on behind closed doors it's almost like how they dress how someone dress is like really neat and clean and then when you go to their home it's like roaches and the paint is peeling and it's scruff marks all over the wall and the carpet is dirt it's like what the fuck is going on somebody compromised peace to end some sort of conflict Somebody bow, somebody cowered to end some sort of conflict here with an Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. Extreme aggression with the King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, greedy people here. We have greedy fishes, y'all. Somebody's acting like they are the king or the queen or they, they're the boss here. And somebody stays silent about it. What the fuck is this? 
suspicious and intimidated so someone is suspecting some sort of evil play hey like somebody's doing some shady crafty shit and somebody's keeping quiet trying to figure out how far does this go this could also be lying and somebody's spouse or partner is keeping quiet about the lies because they're looking at looking at it as this person is trying to impress the competitors. And there's about to be an ego clash because somebody is done not saying something. They're done with the abuse. Somebody wants others to feel envious of them. It's like, yeah, we're going to put on this perfect picture of our relationship. All of our friends are going to be jealous. And then the partner is like, this is so fucked up. Like their face is like, this is so fucked up. Yet they're seeing it as an opportunity to gain or an opportunity to build more or an opportunity to get more. So I'm along for the, the fake ride. I'm along... I'm along for the ride to feed this fake pride. I have no control. The King of Swords says he has no control. Oh, because they're greedy. So greed begots greed, hey. So it's like I'm feeling like I was feeling sorry for this person, but they're actually in this because of their own greed. What am I getting out of it? You know, if this lie makes us look great, well, fine. There's going to be a loss here. Somebody's going to take a bet or they're going to invest in something, but it's a loss. Four of Pentacles. They may not be able to recover from it or their insecurities are not going to be healed with the star. Maybe you're dealing with someone that you invested in their business and their business tank. And there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame. But we're going to ignore it. Because you owe me. Somebody had. They, I feel like. If this is you. This person had good talk. But you kind of feel like. They, they need backative. Maybe you're their backative. I'm getting like a lot of groups of people competing. Instead of being friends genuine friends hey and then i have someone run into someone else with hurts like oh my god i gave him or her my last to do this and they took my money and then all of a sudden you kissing the person or this person is kissing my eye is twitching so there's going to be an unexpected affair or there's going to be like kissing making out and somebody's going to stop But it's all because of financial abuse. Somebody's being financially abused, hey. Seven of Wands. <laughs> More fire energy. Somebody's like, I would have never thought. I thought you guys were like this perfect couple. And then it's like, yeah, I blame myself for not being truthful earlier who's saying that some sort of a sign has an advantage over an earth sign or vice versa or some sort of a sign has advantage over somebody's money and somebody feels like it has a negative control over them they can't seem to get up it feels like i'm a puppet and I can't get up until this person pulls my strings. Does that make sense? It's like I gave up. This person blames me a lot. So I'm channeling from this person. This person blames me or we're we doing this blame game over and over. And it's like I give up. You know, I give up. It's like it's so hard to come out of it. It's like we have fun, you know, playing this game or we have this fun 
competing with others. But then when we get home, the reality sets in. So maybe this is a group of people or this is a couple that always needs to be out or they always need to be entertaining guesses to keep this facade going. What? Somebody's trying to take the high road here or maybe you were involved in this and you took the high road. Some of you may have healed from this toxicity or you may have had an addiction to an air sign, a fire sign. There's a lot of sexual addictions here. Maybe someone, you know, doesn't feel like the, the head in the house or the breadwinner. So they go out and flirt. It's a risk, but they take the risk to do that. Mm -hmm. Territorial, doubly confirmation with the seven of wands and the courage card. Some of somebody's talking about people they don't know. They hating on people they don't know. Oh, okay. So publicity with Aquarian energy. So somebody could be using celebrity gossip or public people with high public ranking. They're using their dirty laundry to make a point. So we have somebody that's loud about criticizing people they don't know and other people are just quiet or agreeing or giving into it because they don't have no control they can't go against this person or how they speak they sound like convincing or they have a strong point but it's a distraction from their own healing from what they need to be improving this person is abusive. They have strong Aquarius Virgo energy in their chart. Even Piscean energy. They want to remain like they're on top. So they talk about these things to remain on top. But it's just blame. They're just pointing the fingers at other people. Maybe people around this person is like, well, how are you talking about other people? Look at you. It's like calling, it's like the, the kettle calling the teapot black or some weird shit like that. We have 717. This person is very overbearing. Somebody, a lot of people in this mix is very overbearing and negative. They have a negative spirit. They are very greedy. So they could be trying to help people by talking about other people. and But behind closed doors, they're doing something crafty. And a lot of people suspect it. Like, let me do you a favor. But then they're really taken from you. This could be false compliments. Somebody's over complimenting someone because they hate them. Wow. You should be protective of yourself from this situation with the seven of wands and the star. We have judgment, five of swords, three of wands. This is complicated. This is people that you are, you don't know what they're capable of. And we have the five of cups energy being the overall energy with cast away the negativity. All right. So fire. And air signs are heavily involved with money and emotions or playing on somebody's emotions. It's like somebody's going above and beyond to do favors for people. They see this as building, networking, but it's a hidden agenda here with the five of swords. Um, somebody's doubting something here. It's like somebody's you. Okay, so it's like, let's say we have a couple in here or a friendship, a business partnership. Somebody is playing, targeting on somebody's addictions or weakness to keep in control. They are an opportunist with the three of the three of wands. So this is judgment. Very critical people. Aquarius, Virgo, Piscean energy. Not saying those signs are like, you know, bad people, but something is going on here where they're creating an illusion. 
So it's like talking about others to take the heat off of me, off of myself. This is what somebody's doing. We have five, five. We have five, five, five. Somebody's traveling or they're posting pictures of traveling. Why is the judgment here? Five of swords. So somebody's in a conflict. Somebody won a conflict. Somebody won an argument. They, whatever they said, they made someone back down or give up, right? But they're going to lose the war. They won the battle, but they're going to lose the war with judgment. I feel like this person's biggest fear is being outed for the creepy shit they doing. This could be someone that's doing blood blood rituals or blood spells. It's something that they're doing. They're like, um, they're contradictive. They could be calling God name a lot and then doing very disgusting acts. They they put their they put the shame on other people other people picks up their shame so they could be talking about god they could be going to church on sunday they could be in a religious group or a cult, a cult part of a establishment or institution but they could be the snake it's like you know what happens when you put a fox in a hen house you come up with blood and feathers it's like that that's this person it's like they're the first person to fart. They're the person that farts, but they're the first person that says, oh my God, what is that smell? That's this person. So a lot of negative energy they projected on people. Whatever they think they're doing here, they think that they're building a connection that's stronger by giving people a good time, um, by doing favors. But it, it's a negative, it's like, Collecting people, making people feel shame or guilty for the, th the things that they're doing for them. Some of you need to keep your distance from this person or if you know someone that's in a very abusive relationship with them, you need to, I don't want to say protect yourself from them, but it's almost like it's to the point where nobody believes you if you tell them with the five of swords. They're feeling like you're the hater. It's like people can't see the wickedness this person is doing because they want something from this person too or they like what this person is doing for them. They're being bought out. Damn. Shameless like the sun. Hm. Okay. So why is judgment here? We're about to get into judgment with the pink moon tomorrow. Hmm. Free will doesn't exist here because people are consuming what this person is given. I'm getting quitting sometimes beats winning. So some of you may need to quit something instead of trying to win it. This person may be constantly trying to provoke or trigger. They're being smart about or you need to be smart about how you defend yourself with this person. Yeah, this person is triggering. They're provoking. They're trying to trigger reaction out of you to, to pick on it. Some sort of uncomfortable truth with judgment is coming. Some of you, this person could be calling. They're raising the dead or they're working with people that know how to get dry bones to do dirty work. Hmm. Some of you don't know what that means yet. I'm hearing God is watching. God, the most high, is the silent observer. Something about silence is discipline and more powerful than words. So I don't know if the king of swords is feeling like they shouldn't say anything. Judgment is coming to pass. A culture of lies. Okay, so lying. Somebody's lying. To get what they want, they're lying to avoid judgment, rejection, confrontation. They're telling people exactly what they want to hey. 
an unconscious liar is always out of tune with nature of the whole and out of order with nature of the ordered universe. What? That's why the star showed up with the five of swords and the five of wands because this person is out of order. They're, they're upsetting the natural laws with what they're doing, hey? And they know it. It's just they think that they're not going to be caught or they think nobody's going to call them out because they, they give off an equal interest in a lot of people. They win people over with gifts, with trips, with being like they're they're like projecting themselves in people's lives. <laughs> Almost like a handler. What is going on around this pink moon? What is this judgment? Ten of uh ten of wands, four of wands. So this has to do with networking or a group of people that consider themselves to be family this could be in a family home on their roof we have the eight of swords so the truth is going to be said or somebody's looking for a breakthrough maybe somebody's looking for someone to rescue them to speak up for them ten of wands somebody's going to speak up they're going to be like no somebody's going to learn to say no but they have to learn to process or regulate their feelings first. So someone is, is going to see this for what it says. This is abusive. So maybe when they stop taking, that's what it is. When they stop taking the handout, 10 of one. Yeah, okay, so this is what I'm getting. This is the Ace of Swords. This is the gospel truth for someone. I feel like this judgment is going to come to pass. This person has to save themselves. They have to stop neglecting their responsibilities. So let's say somebody's too lazy to um, build a life that they really want. They get with people that could do it for them. They're going to have to stop taking they're going to have to learn to say no. This is very stressful, hey. Somebody's, it's a lot of sleepless nights. Because what would people say about me? Somebody's more concerned about what these people are going to say. Or this person has control over these people. And whatever they tell these people, they're going to just accept this judgment. I was watching Rebel Moon. Is it Rebel Moon? Part 2. Where um, she was telling the story. Homegirl with the cut. The pixie cut. And she was telling the story about how she killed the princess. And when she did that. When she followed her orders. From who she thought was like a father figure. He turned against her and called her the murderer. Even though the whole council saw. So the whole council was in. To the conspiracy of murdering the king, the queen, and the princess. She's a light being. The princess is a light being. And when she carried out that order from the man who raised her, he turned against her in front of the whole council. Like he started shouting murderer and the rest of them followed through. So the truth is there. But whoever is running this group of people, this is very evil, hey? Very nefarious, hey. Um, everybody's just gonna like comply. Damn. The the order of the house is gonna win. They win. They think they win the war, but they won the battle. Some of you gotta learn to say no. You gotta increase your confidence with the the ten of wands. You gotta exercise your willpower because right now it feels like willpower does not exist. Y'all is too afraid. Y'all afraid because there's greed here too. So y'all, some of y'all may be afraid that whatever was given is going to be taken away. So you don't step up, but it's time for you to take responsibility. If this does not resonate with you, please don't feel like I'm trick. I'm targeting you or I'm, at I'm attacking you, it it attacking you. This is just the way how I channel. All right. There's no equal interest or... 
once upon a time you guys had equal interests the chemistry or the passion was there but it's in exchange for your free will so you let you confuse passion and intensity with toxicity so some of you may be addicted to having fun and you mingle with people that could provide that and it turns out like your soul is the price to pay because it took away your free will whoever this may be for hmm hidden subconscious beliefs in this pink moon and judgment some of you are struggling or somebody's struggling in an area of their life and it's because they're holding a belief that does not support their needs. Somebody's incapable of seeing things clearly. Justice. I have the justice card on my back burner. Libra. All right, so I'm going to read out the message that I wrote today. Some of you are dealing with narcissistic people, overbearing, critical. They choose their reputation built on nothing. So their reputation is built off of nothing but lies and deceit. The house of cards. I said the house of order, but it's the house of cards coming down. All right, so some of you may have... Um, uh, Venus in Libra or the laws are involved. This person knows people that are involved with law enforcement or they study the laws to break them or to get away from the punishment. Somebody has Venus in Libra, home, the initiator. So we have strong reliances in a partnership. Something about creating fair or shared leaderships. Hey, somebody's not in the mood to be a people pleaser. Somebody's not in the mood to focus on others' needs. They're focusing on their self with justice. What do you have to offer? Somebody's taking the lead in making the decision. So I don't know if you're in this Libra energy. I'm a Libra, Libra gang gang. We have the page of pentacles. Hmm, small rewards or small gifts are being given. Again, somebody's not accepting responsibility. So the justice energy comes out. So maybe we don't have patience to wait for people to start leading or start doing what they need to do. We just try to rush through it. I'm hearing I never let him do anything before now. So some of you, even though there's a lot of passion and there's a lot of wanting to like get it done type of energy it's a burning desire to get something done you're going to have to stop 10 of wands you're going to have to stop doing that taking the initiative or taking the leadership this page of pentacles needs to do that this feels like a little boy energy so somebody feels very little in an abusive relationship page of pentacles and it's because they don't do they don't accept responsibility here so they're being treated like this some of you may be in a long distance relationship or distance cannot come between you and someone someone that's very territorial someone that's very protective over the passion you guys share someone that values your transparency someone that values your advice Somebody's running with the underdog. So maybe you are like empathizing with, with someone that, so maybe you're a woman that's very masculine or you have like this masculine spirit where you feel driven to protect soft men, feminine men, men that always feels like the world tries to beat them up or something. That's when you come in and you're like protective, almost like a sister over a brother. Page of Pentacles, why? Solid, standing on solid ground. Somebody's laziness. Somebody's lazy. Why I keep getting that temperance? Sagittarius. They feel helpless and they attract people that take control. But control does not create trust and security here. 
why is the temperance here there's something that needs to be in moderation there's sobriety or somebody needs to be sober somebody's not sober hey we have trauma survivors with the temperance justice somebody feels like they're above the law hey or they could get away with something because of their greed and their deception this is crazy <laughs> we have capricorn children or somebody was taught from an early age to stand on business or somebody was taught from an early age the laws of something, of, of assumptions or something. Something about obsessed with social status or status success. Hmm. Hold on, I'm looking at my notes because I channeled Sagittarius energy with the temperance. I was seeing it in my mind. Oh, shit, bruv. Check it out. And this is old notes. Cooperation versus competition. I felt it really strong. And that's because the temperance card was a jumper card earlier. Life is out of balance with temperance. Going too far. Somebody's doing too much and going too far. <laughs> Sagittarius Scorpio pay attention to the details pay attention to the details there's excess too much excess access hmm. strained arguments no change something feels off yeah somebody knows something is off with someone but they feel too helpless to speak up. This could also be blackmailing with justice. Somebody has like dirt on some shady business. And if they try to get out of line, somebody calling the laws. It's like somebody creating conflict and then calling the laws. Or somebody can't afford something like a repo. Like I can't afford this. And instead of like letting it go it's almost like i'm seeing someone repoing a car and instead of letting it go they trying to show why the repo man is making a mistake somebody called the police this this man made a mistake and then they get arrested the fuck learn to pay attention and still have like this carefree attitude somebody has a careless attitude towards money or they do favors and be like, no, it's okay. It's like the mob or something. Like, I'm going to do you a favor now. And hopefully, you could do a favor for me when I call you. Ha! <laughs> Fuck out of here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there goes the collaboration. Or the cooperation. The cooperation and collaboration is, hey, some of you, you're in a love triangle. And it goes against your morals. Or somebody is forcing you to do something that's against your, your principles or morals to stay included or involved. What is this? Gospel truth with the Ace of Swords. So this Page of Pentacles energy wants to speak up. But they have mixed feelings. They're refusing to compromise now. And it's kind of like causing someone to like push up on them or pull them to the side or like what's gotten into you, what's going on with you type of deal. And this person is just like watching them in their eyes, not wanting to say why they're not, they're no longer compromising or refusing to cooperate. That's that 10 of wands, learning to say no, learning to alchemize moderation with the temperance, Lear like knowing something is off, there's no peace here. This is going too far or you're going too far and I don't want to be a part of it anymore. And then the person is pushing up on them like, who do you think you are? You think you're going to get out of it now? Like vibes like that. If I go down, you going down. Some, some sort of serenity is depleted. This is no longer fun. This is making someone afraid. Gemini... Cancer, Leo. 
or a Gemini is telling a Leo something, trying to talk some sense into a Leo or a Cancer. I don't know, I feel like a child, a Cancer child or a Leo Virgo child is trying to trying to give you the eye somebody's trying to give someone the eye or trying to point something out with their eyes like oh look over there look over there you know constantly drinking and partying around children somebody's doing something inappropriate in front of young children or teenagers and this teenager or this young person is trying to eye somebody else like look at what the fuck is going on or they feel they feel discomfort they feel out of place watching what these adults are doing why is it two of wands hey someone is adapting okay so i said that they were giving up or giving in but they're adapting to these ways to gain so that's where the greed is coming in so like i know it's wrong but if I could get something out of it, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm along for the ride. Two of ones in reverse. Stay in put. Wow. So I don't know if that's what I was sensing. If you should help this person or you should protect yourself from this person. Because this person loves it there. They love it in hell. They're afraid of the hell hounds that's guarding the door. Um, but they're going to stay to see what else they could get. They're binding themselves there or they were binded by a blood ritual or a blood spell. Okay, so they doubt themselves. So if it's not any of those um, outcomes, they doubt themselves too much. They may have an addiction that this is supporting it could be reputation. It could be drinking. It could be having fun, meeting new people, links, networking. Almost like they're being swept up in this fake successful life. They're swept up in this living this fake best life. They don't want to change or they fear to change because they're going to be unhappy with what they lose. So they're getting what they want. There's no serenity. There's no peace. But they're they're spread thin, and don't want don't want to come out of this because they are afraid of what they're gonna lose. Hmm. Something about you should pray for this person's survival skills to make it to freedom. Something about you should pray. For this person not to give up on themselves. They're waiting for you to cooperate. So if you're the one that stepped out. Because you saw the truth. Of this person's laziness. Where it leads to. They're hoping that you're stepping up. This addiction. You gotta be, you gotta be careful with people that have substance addiction as well. These are people that would cry. Beg. And then... In the same breath, they turn on you when they don't get their way. That's very scary. So the grass is not greener. If you're sitting there and you're seeing this person, like they're gaining more than when they're with you or they're happier than when they're with you, the grass is not greener over there. This person is suffering. Paranoia. They're paranoid about something. This is an ongoing battle here with toxicity, abuse, and addictions. Every time they try to heal or push it away, it, it calls them back. Grinding the teeth. I don't know. Somebody may be spending somebody's money on addictions and they're going to tell the truth. And whoever this is is going to feel really helpless and betrayed. This could also feel like somebody borrowing money from a child or a young adult. And this child feels like the parent, the roles has been switched. Or using children for, gain, for successful gain. So let's say somebody is really good in academics or sports. They're using this child or this young adult. For this successful life. It's, it's like everything is riding on this child. Oh my goodness. 
something is about to hit rock bottom. I'm hearing I'm bleeding. My head is bleeding, but there's no blood. What? My head is bleeding, but there's no cuts. There's no bruises. So whatever this abuse is, you can't tell physically. This is internal. This is something that's penetrating from in the body out. This has been going on a long time. Some of you suspected something was going on. Or this person is suspecting something that's going on. And they're about to, sh to see the truth. But they're going to still hesitate to move around. It's hard to get out of this. All right. I'm going to leave it there. We have a lot of ones. We have one, one, one. One, one, four. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, this could be all what's playing out around the pink moon Scorpio in Taurus season. We still have this Taurus Scorpio access going on here as well. Hmm. Some of you may try to go back and help this person. Why am I getting that? Some of you may feel like you were born to do something, hey? Or some this person went back to help small children. They feel like that was their purpose. So they went back to a karmic relationship or a karmic -y person, even though they didn't want to. They felt like it was their duty or purpose to do so. It's like they and it could be a, a situation where they're around a lot of abusive addicts. And instead of turning their back and moving on free will, moving towards freedom, they go back because somebody is in danger there that didn't ask to be there or didn't ask to be born into it. So even though it's like, yeah, I got out, I freed myself because I see someone in it still that doesn't belong there. I have to go back. I have to. This could also be that the truth is going to dispel or the truth is going to put somebody in jail, put somebody away. Or that somebody has to cut the head off of the snake. Wow. Because I'm, I'm getting that somebody's going to leave or get away unexpectedly. But they, it's like they're going to have to turn back and go back again to take somebody else with them or take free somebody else out. So I don't know. This could be a family situation. Where someone may have gotten out and they left a sibling behind and now they want to go back and help the sibling. Or somebody could have came out of a very abusive relationship where children was keeping everything together. And instead of only thinking about themselves, they go back to kind of protect these children, even if it means them getting hurt again. But they're a little bit more smarter here in the Nine of Wands. Because they may have healed, even though they're beaten or they feel exhausted, they still have the strength is like protecting somebody else with the courage is giving me courage and is giving me the strength to do the right thing for the underdogs. So I'm running with the underdogs or it's just my principle to be that advocate of diplomacy or... To protect women, children, and elders or something, hey? Wow. So transparency and truth about the two of wands energy and the nine of wands. Somebody's about to call someone out. You're trying to keep up with the Jones. You're buying things you can't afford. You're partying. You're drinking. It's like that saying, a man with vision. I know a man with dreams need a woman with visions, not a girl, a little girl that parties all night some kind of weird shit like that so we have motivation but we're not sure here with the nine of wands we're still paranoid about getting hurt or possibly going to jail or or going down for something i did not do 
accusations or accusing. But feeling like I can't let somebody else down. What is this? This is hard. It's hard to stay where I don't feel comfortable. Or it's hard to stay where there's no peace. Alright. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Jump down in the comment box if this you resonate. Or if you know something like this is going on. What did you get from it? Like there's some kind of like storyline. Hey. That I feel like some of you hit it. Or you said it. You thought it. Comment in the comment box below. What that, that storyline is. Wow. Cast away the negativity. Crazy. I mean like when somebody drinks. They're not themselves. They're like. Like they get possessed by a spirit. Or this is a spirit that's in them. And when they drink. That spirit takes over. Because I felt like puppets. And not being able to get up. Until my string is being pulled to get up. Someone may have came from abusive family. That they don't talk about. Or they. They try to ignore that that's what was happening it's almost like yeah we had some really fucked up shit going on as children but now with that we are adults we just all drink about it or we all have fun and drink up uh like it never did happen or something but somebody is not with it we have an outspoken child here too like this child would literally clock the fuck out of you feel because they feel out of place hey it's like, why Why am I being shown this? Why am I here? Almost like somebody doesn't have a babysitter. So they bring their children in like this ruckus. This, I don't know. It's like children are not supposed to be seeing certain things here. It's like it damages their mental, their mentality or something here with the nine of wands and the ace of swords. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Woo! Protect those children. Something is off. Someone is sensing that something is not right. And they may call or do a welfare check. It's like somebody has, maybe somebody has a bad dream. Somebody's parent or grandparent. They have, uh, somebody's not acting right. And they suspect something going on. Like, and they call the law or they call somebody that has a s authority to, to dig into this. And they were right. I'm hearing that they're right. Their intuition, their suspicion is on point. This is like someone, this could even be a neighbor looking through their window, kind of seeing something that's off and call the police and by them doing that, it kind of like breaks open an abusive something that needed to be stopped. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going to record another video. So stay tuned for that. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.